Hello, N4H&H &H here with the Yaesu FT891. I want to go over how to work a split, a CW split uh, specifically here with the Yaesu FT891, although this can apply to sideband just as well. Uh, let's see if uh, there's anybody on 40 meters here. Okay, I'm going to use my Zen, zero in. To lock on well he's he's right on frequency if you've watched any of my previous videos you'll understand what the zero in does now um, I'm gonna go ahead and engage digital noise reduction I always run it at 9 for sideband 15 almost always 15 for CW and also I'm gonna tap the width button that I have assigned to the B key and narrow the width down. So nice and quiet. This radio does a tremendous job uh, on CW. And the blue light, uh, in case somebody hasn't watched the previous videos where I covered that, the blue light simply means uh, that I'm locked on to his exact frequency. More importantly, it means that I'm getting the side tone that I prefer. So function button right here where you, uh, under CW setting, pitch, 600 hertz. So that's the pitch that I have uh, preferred. Um, I just, I hear weaker stations better at that frequency. Audio peak filter, I didn't have it engaged. Um, there's the difference it makes. It, it, you know, again, covered in previous videos, but, you know, it's going, it's very tight filter that boosts the frequency of the side tone. All right, but that's not what the video is about. I just want to give a little backdrop here to how I'm set up. So let's pretend that this station here was working a split. I'm going to show you my method for how I set the radio up to work split. So we're going to long press the function key to get into the, the general menu, the, or the big menu. And we're going to go down to um, 5-13, quick split frequency. Notice I've got it set on 1 kilohertz. If you press in on the multi-knob, you can now modify that. So for example, um, if you mostly work sideband, you'll probably want to leave that on five kilohertz. Let me turn that down a little bit. So if, if you're mostly a sideband operator, then you'll probably want to leave that on five kilohertz. So an operator, a DX station, for example, that's working a split on sideband, they're usually going to be listening five kilohertz up from their transmit frequency. I do a lot of CW, so I leave it on the one kilohertz because oftentimes, you know, if you watch the DX cluster, you'll see a spot for a DX station and it'll say up or up one. They generally listen one kilohertz plus or minus, by the way, uh, above the frequency they're transmitting on. So I'm going to set it on 1K, tap the multi knob to lock that in, and then I'm going to just tap the F key to get out of there. Okay, so that establishes what my quick split's going to be. Now, we'll get into quick split in a second. I'm going to reassign my DNR key. I'm going to press the function button, and you just page through until you see SPL. Or there it is right there. That's split, okay? As long as the arrow is on a, one of these options here, you can press any one of these keys, and that is a long press, to assign that. So I'm going to assign the split to my DNR uh, button here. So I'm going to replace DNR with split by long pressing the C key. Now you can see that split has become the choice for uh, the C key. Now if, if I look on the DX cluster and it says this gentleman is working split, then I'm going to long press my C key and look what happened to VFOB, okay? If 
you didn't catch that, rewind a little bit, but it's 7.031 now, one kilohertz above where he is transmitting because of that setting I did in menu 05-13. Notice here in the lower left, it says SPL. So when I transmit, I will be transmitting on 7.031. If I'm finished, I just tap the C key and split is disabled. I will now be transmitting and receiving on the A VFO up here. Okay, so just a, a quick recap. Let's um, let's tune in somewhere. I'll, I'll go to another another band. I'm going to press in my multi knob. See, it says memory tune. Going to press my multi knob in, and then I'm going to rotate to the right. And it's first thing it's going to going to do going to do is go back to the memory that I tuned away from, which. If you've watched my previous videos, I have frequencies for CW sideband AM programmed in to each memory channel. And then I just um, tune away if I want to work a different frequency. That keeps me from having to fool with all these buttons on the top, you know, setting band and mode and all that sort of thing. So this is working from memories is the absolute best way to operate with this rig. Um, let's see if there's any action on. 20 meters. Okay, going to zero in. See, we're getting mostly blue light now. Don't get confused. That light does not read out dits and dolls. You just, the more solid it is, the more locked on to their frequency you are, which means you're going to get the side tone that you desire. Okay, I'll go ahead now and take my width down to, I'll take it down to, uh, now that I've got locked dead on him, I'm going to go on down to 50. That'll block out, see, listen to the noise. Just takes the noise right out of there because look, look, you're just, you're narrowing your band pass down to just enough that's needed to hear that CW signal. Why listen to the noise? A lot of people think that the idea of narrowing down is to block uh, interference from other signals up and down the band. Well, sure, yeah, it'll do that too. But why, why not also just block the noise? Simultaneously, I'm blocking the noise and I'm improving my receive selectivity. Okay, so if this station were working a split, I'm just gonna tap my multi-knob to get out of that. Watch VFOB down here. And it's convenient having this uh, split assigned to one of the keys down here. Now I'm going to just long press. Notice it engages split mode. It's, it verifies it over here at the uh, lower left. And look, now we are at 14.050.975. So we're now going to transmit, again, one kilohertz above where this... Uh, it could be a DX station who's working a split uh, from where he's operating because he'll be listening in that area there. Now, I'll admit to you that I have varied it up and down a little bit and found that I get through because if you were to go listen on that frequency, you'd find that other people are transmitting and they're, they're, you know, part of it is their transmitter may not be exactly on frequency either. It could be 30 hertz, 50 hertz high or low, 100 hertz high, low. So everybody varies a little bit and that varies their pitch. So sometimes if you intentionally alter that a little bit, just plus or minus, uh, you may have a better chance of getting through. So that's just a little bit of a power tip there for those of you who are uh, trying to break a, a CW pileup with a guy, you know, especially with a guy working a split. Uh, but even if he weren't uh, working split, you could still um, vary your transmit frequency plus or minus a little bit from where you zeroed in, and you might get through just because your pitch is going to sound different to the uh, other station, to the to the DX station than other other you know other transmitters uh, that he's also hearing. So their their pitches are all going to vary, and yours will too. His or her ear may hone in on your uh, particular tone. So that's another little technique, a little, just a little side note there. All right, so don't forget that the trick to this, the real key to it, and I'm going to turn off split, is you want to go into your menu, long press function, and set 05-13, the quick split, to either 
one kilohertz if you're primarily a CW operator or five kilohertz if you're primarily a sideband operator. Uh, and then you just, you know, tap that key to get out of there. Then you, instead of long pressing function, you just tap it and now you're paging through your function menu and you want to go to function menu, there it is, one, function dash one, and look for SPL, put your arrow on it. See, for example, if I want to assign tuner to the C key, then I would put it, the arrow on tuner and long press. See, now tuner is assigned. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to assign it to SPL. There, and now to work a split, I simply long press the C key. It sets up my transmit frequency using the BVFO, verifies that split mode is enabled, and of course, it's verified here as well. You might be wondering, why do you have it here and here? Because you can turn on split mode by going through the function menu. Uh, let me turn it off here and go into the function menu and, and arrow over to it and then, see, just tap in on your, press in on your, on your multi-knob. So that can toggle on and off split mode. And you can also notice that you can long press that. Um, and let me get back there and set up the split as well. So uh, let me tune to another frequency just to kind of, uh, in fact, I'm on, I'll go ahead here and put it on the frequency. I, oh, well, there's somebody. Zero in. So see, not exactly dead on frequency, but wait a minute. There we go. All right, so um, a little bit weaker station, so we're not going to get as much of the blue light. All right, so let's say he was a rare DX, and I wanted to operate him in split mode. So, um, And I don't have it assigned to this C key, which is very convenient. Uh, I'll just tap into the menu here, function one. There it is, SPL. Pressing in on the multi-knob, a long press. And now long press the function key to get out of there, and I'm back in split mode. Notice that I'm one kilohertz above. So you can do it if you don't have a split assigned to one of these keys here, you can still get to it by pressing it on the function menu. Um, but, you know, if you can say, you know, if you don't need all three of these for particular things, then, you know, reassign it. Now, in my truck, I've got tuner on A. I don't have ZIN because, uh, well, quite frankly, I don't do a lot of CW from the truck. And so, uh, and in fact, in the truck, just like on this radio, what I have assigned is, uh, let me move to the next screen, function two, DNR. So in my truck, this is tuner, width is still there, and then this is digital noise reduction. So, you know, you've got three keys that you can uh, play with there. So if you don't mind giving up the operation of one of these keys you know in other words think of it as the the things you would do mostly that's what you want to assign to these the ones that you want quickly at your fingertip rather than pressing function and paging through to find it so if, if you know honestly split if you if you're not in in like dx mode or contest chasing things like that um you know maybe don't don't make split be assigned to one of these buttons down here but if you're doing a lot of work where you're chasing stations that are split, then at least temporarily consider assigning split to maybe the C key. And then uh, always remember you can come in here and do split if you need to in just like a, you know, occasional uh, situation. So you have these three that you can assign to things you want to get to quickly. You can't reassign clarifier, so don't, don't try to do that. Uh, but A, B, and C are up for grabs. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I want to thank the Patreon supporters, the Patreon support team members who help me justify doing this. Uh, without you, I really could not do this. So thanks so much for the Patreon support. And uh, if you would, please like the video. That helps us out with YouTube.
And so uh, I would much appreciate that. If you would also consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Again, thanks for watching in 73 from N4HNH.